Ignorance isn't about knowledge. Mm. It's completely different. Yeah. Ignorance is a closed heart and a closed mind. Mm. And when you open your heart and you open your mind, then anything is possible. Ignorance fades away. That's all that our community stands for. When you become a heart leader and you enter into the Suivera community, you do so with an open heart and an open mind and a willingness to see what else is possible in your life. And from there, limitless opportunities are open. That's the joy of this. And when it comes to differing opinions, well, it's just that. Like, there are so many potentials that are available. It's just that we're on different paths. And so our view is different. And it's okay, mm -hmm. right? You're not going to be on the same path that I'm on. So our view is going to be different. And it's phenomenal. The view from where you're at is probably pretty epic. And the view from where I'm at is pretty epic. And so let's share the view. Let's share what we're seeing. And one day, I might decide to go look at things from your view. And that'll be pretty incredible too, because you'll have already painted a picture and I'll be like, ah, this was what he was seeing. Okay, I get it now. And I'll at least have had a little bit of a map so I'm not thrown off when I get there, right? That's the beauty of this. And sometimes I feel like that's where unsolicited advice comes from too, right? Like I'm seeing something that you're not seeing. And so I'm going to provide it, which if once could be very helpful, if multiple times isn't. And Hate speech generally comes from a closed heart or a closed mind. And if that's not what you desire to have in your life, then you have the freedom to delete it from your feed and to curate a feed if you're on social media that has the same open heart, open mind feel that you are seeking to create, right? That's the beauty of choice. And social media offers you so many choices that if that's the direction you want to go, then start curating your own feed to offer that for you. And know that you have the power to delete anything like we do that isn't in alignment with that. Set your boundary to that, right? It doesn't mean that you're not open to differing perspectives or to being challenged. It just means that hate has no place in your life. Absolutely. Kind of like the, um, there are restaurants that have no shoe, no shirts, no shoes, no service, no service right? right? Yeah. It's not like they're discriminating against people with no shirt or no shoes. It's just saying, Hey, in this establishment, this is, this is what is the boundary. There are plenty of other restaurants that may not have that sign. You can go eat there. It's not stopping you from eating. This isn't the only restaurant in the world. Yeah. And so I feel like that's an important thing to understand uh, from the outside that we're not seeking to suppress or uh, silence, you know, people or their thoughts or their opinions or anything. And this goes for not just us, but for for a lot of individuals out there, whether it's themselves or organizations who are holding their boundaries. Because right now there's kind of this this fluctuation around what it means to hold a boundary. And sometimes when people are holding their boundaries, they're kind of being they're being criticized for it. It's really important to recognize that not always, yeah. maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes it is oppression or suppression or, and that's yeah. important to understand and differentiate, but there are plenty of organizations and individuals out there that are just seeking to hold their boundary and share. This is what, this is, this is the cure. This is my, just like you're curating a social media feed. This is what I'm curating in my feed of life. Yeah. It's that old saying. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Oh, I right? haven't heard that. That's not yeah, it's uh, that. where I grew up. It was a big saying, mm. and it's true. Mm.